Welcome to the analysis of The Legends, featuring Gragas, the fat drunk of the league. Time to roll out the barrel! The only time I have a drinking problem is when I spill it. <laughs> Damn, he's so drunk, he's delusional. So Gragas is a tank, as well as an EP fighter, but he is so shit-faced, the only thing on his mind is to fuck up wherever it tells him to drink water. So let's remind him what his abilities are. Because knowing people, they don't know shit when they drink a barrel full of Guinness every game. So his passive, Happy Hour, gives a percentage of his max health when he uses an ability on a short cooldown. Sounds like the complete opposite of what it's supposed to do, but okay. His Q, Barrel Roll. Do a barrel roll! Throws his barrel in an area, dealing damage and slowing them for 2 seconds. The barrel does 150% damage if left out for 2 plus seconds, and does 70% damage to minions. His W, Trunken Rage, wow, how appropriate, drinks his barrel and after 1 second, he gains damage reduction for 2.5 seconds, and his next auto attack does max health damage plus magic damage to the enemy hit and enemies around it. His E, Body Slam, <laughs> Dashes in a line, dealing damage to who he rams into, stunning them for one second. The cooldown is reduced by three seconds if it hits someone. His ult, Explosive Cask, throws his barrel and after 0.5 seconds, does damage and knocks targets away from the explosion. For skill maxing, Q is always first for the high damage and slow increase per rank, either max E second for having more engages as a tank, or have W second for burst damage. And of course, upgrade ult whenever you can, because if you don't, you wonder why you were stuck in Bronze 5 and have flashbacks for people flaming you. For runes and masteries, I use armor marks, health per level seals, and AP glyphs and quintessences. The armor and ability power will help you with clears, and health per level will give you tank stats late game. Masteries I take 0, 12, and 18, with Courage as Colossus, or Grass of the Undying if I'm going against top, and 0, 18, 12, taking Thunderlords for going AP. For Gragas Masteries, you want to prioritize tank stats, as well as Runic Affinity and Insight. This will give you more health from your passive, and give you more uses of Flash. With all the abilities explained, let's go over combos. For combos, we have the Extended Body Slam, flashing onto your target before the E animation stops, to either close in on an opponent, angle like a Velkaz Q, or E forward and flash from your prior position for an improvised engage. For Guaranteed Insect, Body Slam onto the opponent and immediately ult behind them to throw them into your allies. The best part is that you are so fat, you can toss more than one target to your team if they club up together. See Lee Sin? Bigger is better. Ladies. For Burst Combo, lay the Q under your body. After they see it and think you fucked up, prep W, Body Slam onto them, flash if necessary, and throw ult to where they fly towards your already charged barrel. The duration of the body slam and explosive cask will give your Q long enough to charge so when they fly to it, they can't escape it unless you have Quicksilver Sash. Now to explain how you can get a montage with Gragas, let's see how we can use them in each role starting with the jungle. For jungle, start Q, get Talisman and Refillable, and take Summoner's Flash and Smite. Or f Smite and Flash, whatever works for you. Clear your first camp and get W for the damage reduction, and the max health damage works well too. Focus on syncing all of your abilities with your passive to make the difference between getting all of your health back after a camp and getting none of it. The refillables are basically to make sure if you mess up, you have something to keep you healthy. Or Shaco comes into your jungle at level 2, because the only way he's going to win is to cheese you. Don't clear Raptors right away. Instead, throw your Q into camp uh, and get Talisman healing as you head to either red or blue. They'll stop going after you after you get to the buff. After getting level 3, either continue farming or find a lane to gank. For ganking, have W prep before revealing yourself and body slam onto them. Flash on them if it help you get the gank done and throw your Q under them and immediately ignite it for the 2 second slow. For items, get Cinder Hulk and Warding Smite, Mercury Treads, Iceborne Gauntlet, Spear Visage, Dead Man's Plate or Random Dolmen, depending on the depending on the enemy, and Warmogs to finish off the build. This will give you max cooldown and get the most healing out of your passive. The more you can spam your abilities, the tankier you will be, especially during extended team fights. Gragas can be used for a team that desperately needs either AP damage or needs a decent CC for setups like Misfortune, Jin, and Yasuo. Good job, you could play Gragas Jungle, the easiest role to fucking learn. 
Now let's move out of the bushes and expose Gragas to top lane and see what he can do. For top lane Gragas, you are another version of Maokai, but you can sustain yourself when planning either passively or aggressively. Grab Teleport and Flash for summoners and with Insight you'll have them up at faster. And grab the Undying for your Keystone to deal with laning phase. For laning phase, you can afford taking trade damage as long as you can use your abilities. Unless that person can damage you more than they can heal or they have Executioner's Calling, you'll come out of the fight healthier than the enemy top laner. This works against Nautilus, Maokai, and Poppy. For tanks, then take Dorn's Ring and Potions since you can afford to walk up and take CS and not get punished for it. For aggressive top laners like Riven, Yasuo, and Camille, get a Dorn Shield and a Potion just to deal with their aggression. Because if I know them, they're going to find any chance to try to kill you. Yeah, come catch again. Yeah. Yo, you're going to gang. I'm coming though. Oh, am I? Don't get kicked into the turret. Oh. Oh my god, that was so bad. End of the line, bitch! <laughs> Alright, let's get this. For ranged top laners like Quinn, Kennen, and Nar, take Corrupting Potion and an early Dark Seal as soon as possible. You deal with early game against ranged top laners, and you'll be fine for the rest of the game. For builds, grab Sunfire Cape, Merc Treads being your favorite pair of Jays, Spear Visage, Iceborne Gauntlet, Warmogs, and ZZ Rot. If you're dealing with Crit, replace Sunfire for Random and Omen, and rotate other items like Banshee's Veil for more MR, Thormel for auto attack base, or Dead Man's Plate if you got ahead and you need more burst damage. They have one down. Let's go this way then. There's a. Uh... I can just do this. Oh Jesus, guys! I got him. Stay, stay up, my girl! Oh, and no, I'm, oh crap! I didn't think I'd do that much damage. Yeah, right, great. Right right? right Let's go. Did you see that old? No, I auto her and did like 700 damage in auto. Like I, I didn't think that was gonna. All right, thanks, David. Yes, I did see that old. It was good. Thank good you. job, dude. But it's great. <laughs> All your accomplishments are undermined by Graves auto attacking. Good. Now you can play Gragas top. Now here comes the fun part. Gragas mid. Or the shittiest part, depending on who you're versing. For Gragas mid, it's the same thing as top, but your abilities won't suck ass when it comes to damage. For ranged mages like Syndra, Oriana, and LeBlanc, grab a Corrupting Potion. And for melee mages like Echo, Talon, or Zed, grab a Dorn's Ring. For doing damage in lane, poke with Q, as well as keep using your W for damage reduction, especially during trades against ranged mages. If anyone's been in lane with Syndra, they know getting the CS as a melee champion means balls to the face. And not the good kind. Remember the burst damage combo explained before laning phase to give yourself an edge. Or if you can't really get that montage play, just keep throwing your Q and if they're low enough, just flash W and it gets a kill almost every single time. My god, inhuman reactions! For items, you want to build like a Relling and Soul, focusing on health and AP. Example build would be Rod of Ages, Lucidity Boots, Lich Bane, Morella Namicon, Void Staff, and Death Cap. If you want to get more fighter, replace Morella Namicon with either Abyssal Scepter or Hourglass. This will make you hard to burst down, and they're going to need more than Sorcerer's Shoes or a Serrated Dirk to one-shot you. Good, you can play Gragas mid. The final role, as well as the least played role, will now go over Support Gragas. For Gragas Support, if it wasn't obvious enough, you're the bouncer for the ADC. The biggest thing he can do is just be a CC bot and be the nuisance to the enemy bot lane. The one thing you could do is throw your Q under the enemy champions for them to either miss minion gold or they have to take poke damage. This helps against people like Hate and Ash who have just enough range to hit you and your ADC with basically no consequences. This could also work well with Caitlyn and Ash to have even more kill pressure bot lane especially against people like Misfortune, Jinx, and Lucian. For tips, save your mana for when you have to fight your ADC, but other than that, just sit there and look pretty. It's pretty hard for someone like Gragas. I'm just saying, just like Bill Cosby, he's going to need to put a few drinks into them if he's expected to take any girls home, and probably a lawsuit. You can tell I need this 10 minute mark when I'm talking about getting girls at a bar being only 19.
Anyway, for build orders, grab a Relic Shield, building the ID Equinox, your tank, not a real support, Mercury Treads, Frozen Heart, Knight's Vow, Spirit Visage, and ZZ Rot. This will make his tank stats as rounded out as his stomach. Good, you can play Gragga support. Now you've gotten as much information, and probably forgot about most of it, let's do a TLDR version of Gragas that will make Black Enola proud. Wait, he does patch notes TLDR. Whatever, same meme. Gragas is a man that can absorb as much damage for as long as he can keep shotgunning his Grok, and with that, kill people with peer pressure. He relies on keeping his abilities rotating for extra healing, and is a great CC bot for the idiots that think a team full of assassins is still a good idea. He can fill both being a tank, but could be an AP fighter if given enough early gold. He could be the nuisance of the enemy team if played right, and can compete against Lee Sin if mastered. Gragas has one job when he enters the rift. That job is to drag him to a drinking contest that you won't survive participating. So that was the analysis of Gragas. Before I end the video today, two things. One, thanks to my editor Martin for giving me tips on how to edit for myself and we'll now have more consistent videos coming out within the, within the next few months. And with him coming back joining, we'll have more videos out for you guys to start being entertained or being cringed at, whatever works best. Also, I'll be starting streaming on Twitch the channel being Strategizer.js, and before you ask, why isn't it the strategist? The name was invalid. The cunts. In the channel, I'll be doing ranked games for League, Overwatch, and StarCraft for the five people that still give a fuck. With that in mind, I'll also be doing fan games through my Discord, which will be in the description. For the Discord, I'll start, if we're doing fan games, I'll have the four people join into my Discord as long as they behave, and we'll see how that goes. Which I'll probably be streaming during the week, since I basically have nothing else to do in my life. With that in mind, how well has the analysis helped you? By letting me know in the comments. I am the strategist, thanks for letting me share my knowledge, and I'll, I'll drink you under the table, scrub. See you guys later.